I'm gonna teach you about arithmetic series in the K math way. Okay, let's understand it, not memorizing. Okay, let's go. Yeah, first we need to understand this first. Does anybody know the answer of this? Does anybody know answer of this? This is the very very important example to understand arithmetic series first. So I wanna try this then. Let's say 1 to 100 it is sub equals to s because it is series. You know what I'm saying? I will rewrite this into the opposite way like I'm seeing the mirror. Like this. Like this like this opposite direction you know what i'm saying then weirdly when we add this up to down <laughs> i don't know whether it is right expression but up to down uh, you, you know what i'm saying it's the same value the same value of 101 101 100 and all you know what i'm saying so if we add upper and the down the this thing equals to 2s and we add all this up okay so 101 has appeared 100 times so this becomes to 101 multiplied by 100 and this is same to 2s so all we need to is divide 2 by here if you understand this one, we can make a formula too. L let me see. Let's go. When we ch change this into the arithmetic uh, system form, we can say this is a1, a2, a3, and a m minus 1, a n. You know what I'm saying? Let's change to this form. Then this comes to a n, a m minus a m, a m minus 2, blah, 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 a2, a1. So, Let's see, we know that this value is the same, which means a1 plus a n is always the same number. So we can say a1 and a n here, and we has the same circle, which number? Number of the n. So we multiply this n. Then it comes to s n plus s n, which means 2 s n. So we divide 2 here. The formula is the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is the arithmetic series uh, concept. Okay, don't memorize. 